Hey, aloe water. If y'all want to like send me a bunch of free drinks to like show, you know, that'd be cool. You yeah. know, just, just let me know. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everyone's having a really good day so far. And whew, I don't know. I do that every video. I feel like I'm just like letting out a lot, but I, I'm, I'm continuously always just, I, I keep getting blown away with things. <laughs> So about a week ago on the channel, I did a video where we summon the red sun in Minecraft. And if you guys are asking me exactly what is the red sun right now, I highly recommend that you go check out the previous video that was posted last week on the channel so you know exactly what the red sun is. And I asked you guys if you wanted me to go back and, you know, fight the red sun again. And well, of course, the support. I mean, I mean, guys, <laughs> you guys are literally killing the support. So... <laughs> The more you keep showing, the more I'll keep delivering to you guys if that's really what you guys would want me to post and do. But just know this stuff is very, very scary. Okay, this is some crazy stuff here. <laughs> but hold up, because today it's not just going to be the red sun. In fact, I wanted to do something crazier, which includes the red sun and the lunar moon in Minecraft. Well, of course, we need to create a world here. I'm going to call this the, uh, the world nobody should ever join. Uh, that's too long. Don't join or you dead. Good name. So I did a video probably like a year ago on fighting the red sun and the lunar moon at the exact same time. Now, I don't recommend you watching that video because uh, I was a little kid and uh, I feel like I can do better this time around. But yeah, I'm serious. We fought the lunar moon and the red sun at the exact same time. And I figured you guys would love to see that if it's even still, even still possible. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the seed in here. Let's do lunar moon. We'll do an underscore and we'll do red sun. I don't know if that's going to... Oh, no, that's definitely not going to work. Lunar moon, red sun. Maybe if I keep it all together like that, the seed would work better. I don't, I don't know if an underscore really matters or not or if it's just like the name that needs to be in it. Let's go ahead and turn on cheats. But guys, the only way we're going to find out if this works is just to try it and... Oh. We got to do it. If you guys want me to do some more Lunar Moon and Red Sun videos, all I want you guys to do right now is drop a like on today's video. That's the best way to tell me that you guys are enjoying the vids. Drop a like and drop a comment and show some love and uh, I'll keep delivering to you guys. Okay. Now, before I create this world, I'm going to give you guys all your shout outs. You guys know how this goes though. This shark emoji is going to be at a random timestamp. When you guys see it throughout the video, I want you to drop a comment down below in the comment section of the timestamp that the shark emoji is at. And one of you guys will be picked in tomorrow's video to receive a shout out. But today's shout out goes to this person right here. Congratulations to you. But now one of you guys are getting your shout outs tomorrow. All right, we're creating the world now, guys. Enough messing around. Let's do this. I'm... <laughs> Wait, did I turn on cheats? All right, so we are in our world here. It's, uh, this is, seems like your regular world. Now, first things first here, I'm going to hop in creative mode here because I immediately want to start building my base if we're going after the red sun and the lunar moon here. With that being said, I don't know if when it turns nighttime, the moon's going to come out or when it turns daytime again the next morning if the sun's going to come out. We're kind of just winging this here, guys, trying to figure out exactly how this is going to go down. Maybe it'll be at all at one wave, like, like level 100 in like Call of Duty zombies. There's just like a million and one zombies. It's just like the top wave. Honestly, I don't really know. We're going to have to figure it out together as we, as we go on along and, and record this video. I feel like I do this every time. I build some sort of bedrock base, but it just doesn't do justice. I mean, it's just, it's not strong enough. Whether everything around me turns into uh, lava or fire, or it just changes from bedrock to something else, it just doesn't stand a chance against the lunar moon. I, I, actually, both of them for that matter. The red sun and the lunar moon are both absolutely two insane monsters that, I mean, have like unlimited health or something. Actually, no, that's not true. We've killed them before, so... <laughs> Sucks to be you, red sun or lunar moon. All right, I'm going to grab myself a chest here and start looting it up with some good armor and materials that I can use to try and fight against the lunar moon and red sun. However, with this fight, I'm going to bet on a couple things. And number one, I'm going to need a lot of potions. I know diamond armor can be enchanted and all that stuff to make it like really strong and powerful, but I'm placing my bets on potions and splash potions because... Uh, if my armor runs out of durability, I'm literally relying on instant health potions and and strength po potions and fire resistance potions to try and keep me alive. Okay, let's for sure get some night vision. We can also get some jump boost. That would be kind of cool. Fire resistance, sure thing, 100%. Oh no, I just threw one. I already have night vision on. It's okay, I'm in creative mode, who cares? We need regeneration and... We also need a lot of strength potions. 
Perfect. Thank you. Go ahead and grab myself a bow and some arrows. There we go. Damage two arrows. Those ones should really do it. I think those will help. So I was reading through the comments in the last video uh, where we fought the red sun. And I actually saw quite a bit of comments of you guys saying, Shark, why do you use a bow when you're shooting the fireballs back? Almost like a, de a defense mechanism. Reason being because I could just use my fist and just punch them. The only problem with using my fist and punching them is the fact that the fireball gets so close to me. And usually in these fights, yes, I spawn in creative mode, but I fight in survival because I mean, you can beat any boss in creative mode. I mean, what's the purpose in that? But when the fireball gets really close to you and I'm in survival mode, that thing does more damage than I've ever thought. So my main reasoning for using the bow is to trying to keep away the fireballs and everything just as far away from me as possible. I mean, I don't know if these things are going to blow a crater in the ground or not and destroy everything around me. I'm just trying to play everything safe. So that's why I decided to do it that way. If you guys have any other mechanisms or any different way that I could try and, you know, defend myself drop a comment down below but now uh now it's just the waiting game guys i think it's happening now i can see the lunar moon i've just been waiting just patiently waiting for this moment and oh my gosh guys it's finally time i'm just gonna grab some notch apples before i go in survival mode and i think i'll be okay Woo! all right this is it our goal in today's video, guys, is to fight both the Red Sun and the Lunar Moon. So wave number one, we have the Lunar Moon up first. This is our first night in this world. And I'm very, very excited to see how this is going to play down. You know, I should have... Okay, yep. Looks like I'm back on the ground. Maybe if I, I should have built a staircase or maybe a ladder, maybe I should have been a little bit proactive instead of just standing around. Oh, what the... Wait, okay, I think I just got a fireball shot. Yep, we got fireball shooting. The Lunar Moon has shot its first shots. Wait, actually, everything is turning to end stone, it looks like. That's actually something I haven't really seen before. Oh my gosh, no. Piggies, run! You know, that would make sense. The Lunar Moon and end stone. I mean, end stone looks like the moon's surface. I mean, to me, at least. Oh my gosh. All right. We have fireballs left, right, and center here. None of our actually seem to be coming towards. Never mind. Yep, we got one right there. Oh yeah, come here. Closer. Thank you. I got to make sure I don't miss. I, yep. Okay. Yep. Thinking about it now, I don't know if it's a safe idea to be hanging out up top where the lunar moon has a clear shot on me. Maybe if I hang below this bedrock, uh, this might be a little bit safer. You know, one thing I did notice when the lunar moon and the red sun are here as well, guys, actually mainly with the lunar moon i think you guys have pointed out as well in the comments is that there are usually no mobs around when they are out it's almost like the mobs know that the lunar moon and red sun are here that they don't want to get killed or even you know maybe have a chance of getting killed it's just it, it, it's kind of weird how all that plays out all right lunar moon if you want me to try and kill you then you need to get some shots over here because uh you know that's what i'm trying to do oh my gosh i take all of that back oh my gosh no i'm just spamming arrows Oh my gosh! I need to eat a notch apple for this. This is way too dangerous. I mean, all I'm saying is one of these, uh, one of these fireballs could definitely kill me. Yep, just like wait, what? It changed all that from bedrock to end stone? That's what I mean, mean guys. Look, my base. I can't. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, I think I definitely got one on him. Yeah, we got one for sure. One out of probably 30 arrows I've shot thus far. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of work on my accuracy, but it's okay. Oh my gosh. So the Lunar Moon has reached the moment at the night where it's its most dangerous. It's right at the very top of the sky. When you look directly straight up, that's how you'll know the Lunar Moon is at its, like, almost like you could say it's like its peak of, like, damage it deals. Oh my gosh, these fireballs. I mean, this thing is nuts. You can see this guy is just crazy. He's just not stopping. If I get hit by any of these fireballs, I swear I'm literally going to be dead. I need to pop another notch apple. All right, strength and regen. Let's go. Come on, fireballs. I ain't scared of you. Let's go. Okay, maybe a little bit. <laughs> if I could get some on them. Yeah, we definitely got one. Oh my gosh, no, I'm in lava. Thank you, Notch Apples. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wait, why didn't I do this before? This was such a smart idea. I'll just stay in the water. I mean, honestly, this is not a bad idea. Oh no, 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 no. Hey, come on. I just got in the water. Okay, this is not good. It's starting to rain. I can't even see the moon anymore. I don't know where he is. I mean, he could just be anywhere right now. Oh no, guys. <laughs> oh no. 
Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm getting out of this thing, dude. I'm going to get trapped in here. No, please. Look, literally, the Lunar Moon's shooting fireballs right where I'm at. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is the worst time to fight the moon because I literally have no idea where he is. The rain's covering the sky. I can't see anything. Hey, hey. Oh my gosh. This is messed up, guys. Like, this is the most difficult boss battle in Minecraft that I've ever seen. Compared to the Ender Dragon, this is nothing. No! No! Okay, as long as I keep eating Notch Apples, I'll be okay. Just don't die inside of the way. I, I can just go create a boss. Oh, wait, what? I got out. No. Oh, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. Get out. Go. Oh my gosh. How? This is insane. No, no, I'm literally getting trapped in a little one by one. No, no, please. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Guys, this is crazy. The Lunar Moon's literally trapping me, like, trapping me inside of these, like, very, very tall mountains of endstone. Oh my gosh, guys. There's the Lunar Moon. You can see it. The Lunar Moon is about to set. Honestly, uh, this fight was probably one of the craziest fights, but we're still not done here, guys. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to fight the Red Sun, too? I don't know. Oh, I'm supposed to pull this off. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. I do not know how I'm supposed to do this at all. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be completely honest here, guys. I don't think I prepared this that, you know, that well for this. With only having a bow, uh, this is not good. I mean, the Lunar Moon can just simply spawn all these blocks around me. So what am I supposed to do? I mean, I don't even know where my pickaxe went. I had one when we started, but I don't know where it went right now. It's just, it's just gone. Oh my gosh, no, 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 please, no. No, I don't want to get trapped in this. Oh my gosh, no, please stop. Okay, maybe if I can find a safe place to camp out for a couple seconds, it seems like the sun's coming up any minute here, guys. Maybe if I just find somewhere safe to, uh, I don't know, kind of hang out and just figure out exactly what's going on. Okay, wait, maybe in here. This sounds like a good place. Okay, so I'm going to hang out inside of this little crevice in the, in the walls here. I don't know if the Lunar Moon knows I'm down here. Uh, I actually... I'm literally just going to hold shift and hang out. I don't know. I don't think the Lunar Moon, like, I don't know. Maybe he's some crazy hacker and he can see through walls, but I don't think so. I have a funny feeling that I'm safe down here, and I just want to reevaluate re everything that's going on. Try and figure out what to do. First off, I only have three potions left. Um, I still have a ton of arrows, so I am good on that. When it comes to my block usage and my other items I started with, my armor is okay. I don't have a lot of cobblestone left, and I certainly do not have my pickaxe. So if I get stuck inside of endstone or cobblestone like I almost did beforehand, I mean, I'm dead. All right, we're going to throw some regen down and I'll save the fire resistance just in case we get into like a really bad position with some lava, but I think I'll be okay for now. Okay, uh, so the lunar moon... Wait. Wait a second. Hold up. Wait. Oh my gosh! Wait, what? Guys, the lunar moon is right there. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. And the red sun is literally right there. Oh no, is this... I think I know what's happening, but I don't want to jinx myself and call it. But guys, I think we're fighting both the lunar moon and the red sun at the exact same time. Oh my gosh, I need to get away from this body of water here. I'm going to be so slow inside. As you guys can see, you can literally just see the eyes of the lunar moon staring in the horizon. And the red sun is definitely what's causing all the lava. I mean, from previous videos, guys, you guys know how the lunar moon and red sun are. Oh my gosh, there's literally no way. I can't even defend myself. How am I supposed to deal damage? I can't shoot arrows at either of them. They're not even attacking me. They're just morphing the world around us. I just kind of have to be an innocent bystander here and just stand here and watch it all happen. You know, it's it's crazy because I never expected me to be doing this on a day like today. I mean, this is outrageous, guys. I literally can't even defend myself. You know, what if it were possible that I could build some sort of TNT cannon that would like shoot super far? Wait, what's happening? Oh my gosh, what is happening? Fire res right now. Okay, oh my gosh, guys, what is happening? Everything is turning into lava. Literally everything. Okay, I need to get away from this area just for a bit so I can hopefully get close and shoot some shots at these guys so I can deal some damage and maybe they'll back off. Oh, are you serious? Oh my gosh. Gosh, come on. No way. This is insane. Thank goodness for this fire resistance because I would be dead right now. I'd just be burning up and I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't even be alive right now. Oh my gosh. Literally, I'm just running around the world. I'm not even trying to defend myself at this point. Wait, okay, there we go. We got some fireballs now. I don't know if the lunar moon must be high up in the sky or I don't even know which one is shooting which right now, guys, to be completely honest with you. This could be the red sun shooting me. Yeah, no, this is definitely the red 
son. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. We got a couple really good shots on him right now. Come on, please. Yes, yes. Come on, we're getting a lot of really great shots right now, guys. I'm hyped about this. Oh my gosh, guys. These poor pigs. Poor piggies are just turning into cooked pork chop. Yes, let's go keep getting shots. This grass barrier here is actually protecting me. As long as it doesn't blow up. Okay, never mind. It blew up. That did not last too long. Come on. Yes, we got... Oh my gosh, dude. We have nailed so many shots on the red sun. Out of all those fireballs that were shot at me, I would say probably about five or six of them I was able to shoot back and actually hit the red sun with. You know, that is a good amount of damage once you add that up. Oh my god. Gosh, I mean at this point the red sun's not even aiming towards me It's just shooting the world and just destroying the entire world around us You want to know something really weird about all of this right now? It's the fact that I mean it's probably been about a 10 11 12 minutes since we've initially found out the red sun was fighting us at the same time as the lunar moon And the funniest thing about this is they've not changed positions The lunar moon is still there and the red sun is still there. It's not even day What would I even call this like a like a mutated daytime? Like what is this? It's like daytime in Minecraft is just completely gone now. Literally everything has just changed. Oh my gosh, guys. I like, what do I do? I'm just being embodied by lava. Okay, I'm logging off. I'm going, to, okay. I'm going to quit right here just for a minute. Guys, I just quit the world. Um, I don't know exactly how we should go about this and how we should take this out. I know for a fact I did a lot of damage to both the Red Sun and the Lunar Moon, but I don't know why or how they were in the exact same position and they stayed there. I find that a little bit weird and uh, I don't know if I should go any further because the last thing I want is to die and lose the progress I've already got. I want everybody right now watching this video to drop a comment down below exactly what you guys would do in this position right now. I'm going to be uploading a video later this week and I want to come to an end with all this. I want to figure out exactly what's going on and try and take out the Lunar Moon and Red Sun once and for all. Ladies and gentlemen, though, I could join back this world at any point in time. But until then, I want you guys to let me know down below, below in the comments what I should do. But ladies and gents, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow in a brand new video. Take care. Hey guys, you enjoyed today's video and you guys want to see some more? If you guys see the video and playlist over here, all you guys are going to do is click or tap on your screen and you guys will automatically be... All you guys are going to do is click or tap on the screen and you'll automatically be sent over to the next video where a brand new adventure will start. So until then, I'll see you there. Take care.